You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio on ESPN Radio 1700. Now, live in studio, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guests, Penny Lambright, Patriots and Paws. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Glad to have you with us. Melissa Jones, Preferred Home Brokers. Welcome. Hello. Good to see you again. Glad to have you with us as well. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800 306 1990 800 306 1990 or ronsiegelradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan, a plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. This is Day of Remembrance and obviously a little bit of a different tone, I think, many of us have from since September 11th, those that remember the day. I'm going to share a little bit of my story with you just as a, a way of remembering what really happened that day. And everybody has their own story. I've been listening to some of the news broadcasts from early this morning, and I will I will share with you, I was... I was pretty much there. I was at continuing education with Merrill Lynch right across the river in Princeton, New Jersey that morning in September 2001. And the irony, maybe not the irony, the remembrance, so to speak, was going from class to class. Merrill Lynch actually has a full campus there, hotel, the whole nine yards, right across the river, Princeton, New Jersey. And... One World Financial Center is where Merrill had their offices uh, right across from the trade centers. Uh, so they had their downtown offices. They also had their corporate offices right there in Princeton. And as we walked out of one of the sessions, obviously about nine o'clock in the morning Eastern time, you see the TVs and they're showing what's going on and we kind of just sat down stunned watching what was happening not knowing what was happening, but knowing that things had changed. And while we were there, we actually ended up the very next day being in the financial industry. And it's why I get so passionate when we have things happen. And maybe it's where my training came from, when, when different things occur. When I, the other day when the stock market was down 1,100 points, why... I felt it important for us to change some of our broadcasting and bring to light the fact that it's another day and we will survive. You know, that was 1,100 points in the stock market was nothing like what happened with the Trade Center. But the training at Merrill Lynch was by the afternoon, by that afternoon was for obviously nobody could or very few people could leave. Some did leave. The airplanes were all grounded, if you recall. Once we were able to get a hold of family, I made the, a phone call quickly to my wife. She was back here, three little kids. She's in California. I'm in New Jersey. And I said, keep the kids home today. And she says, you're crazy. Why? And I said, just humor me. Keep them home. It's a, I'd rather have them home with you knowing exactly where they are instead of having to worry because we don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. Obviously, that was like... 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, California time. It was 9.30, 10 o'clock there on the East Coast where I was watching what was going on. They're barely out of bed. Obviously, a mom and three kids. If you have kids, you know that's chaos time. Well, the day progressed. Some of the people at our training decided they had to get back to California. They, they had to be with their family. I, I can certainly understand that. You'd see people... Uh, four or five people renting a car 
and they made the assumption that when all the planes were grounded, they could get back to California. Think about this one, New York to California in 40 hours. You do the math. It was basically five people taking turns driving four hours at a time and pretty much stopping for bathroom food and eating while you're in the car. But that was the methodology, that was the thought process. The next morning, the, the 12th of September, sitting at that same facility, Merrill really didn't want us to leave. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't have any clue any more than anybody else. Sitting at the breakfast table and you would have young people, interns, 19, 20, 21 years old, coming over to the corporate to the corporate offices because their building wasn't available any longer. And talking about what they had seen the day before, people jumping out of buildings, body parts flying around, not exactly what you would expect from somebody, you know, barely 20 years old. That was the stories when we finally got out of New York or New Jersey on uh, it was that Friday, we were fine. The planes finally started going, and as we flew out, we went right over the former site of the trade center, and it was still smoldering five days later, four days later, still smoking after all after four or five days. Hard to put those images out of your head, and one of the things that I make as a a common issue when I've as my kids have gotten older, um, the issue that I've, I've come up with and shared is to honor the people, not only there, but our military, who go out and fight so you can do what you do every day. Well, I hope it's something that you enjoy every day. But they go out every single day and put their lives on the line so I can come up and chat on radio. Some people like what I have to say. Some people despise what I have to say. But because of the military, men and women who have sacrificed over the last 239 years, more and more, because of them, we can do what we want to do. We have to remember the first responders that when everybody was fleeing the building, they were going into the building. And some of them, their families have never got to see them again. But we get to continue doing what we do. Not all of us go into the military, not all of us become first responders, but every one of us, in my opinion, has a responsibility. We have a responsibility to remember. We have a responsibility to get ourselves educated. And I run a number of websites and Facebook pages, and some people will say to me, Ron, why do you talk so much about politics and what you do? You're a mortgage guy. You're a finance guy. Why do you speak about politics so much? Well, I believe that in order for somebody to get to go, every one of us should go and vote. My personal opinion, every person should go and vote. But before you go and vote, to honor those people that gave their lives, that continue to give their lives, it's your duty, it's my duty to get educated. Not to go and vote because there's a D or an R or an I after somebody's name, that's stupid. That's just an idiot going and doing something that doesn't make any sense. Get educated, and then if it's a Democrat you want to vote for, so be it. If it's a Republican, so be it. Independent, heck, this time you have an opportunity to vote for a socialist. But get educated and understand what you're doing, what you're voting for. I've done that with my kids and said to them, you know something, if you, if you want to be part of this household, you owe it to those people. You can't do what you do. You can't go and and try to become the best you can be at whatever you want to be. If it wasn't for the military, the first responders, why do you think I'm so passionate about our VIP hero program that I started? Why do you think that I am going to be spending so much time, or you hear me talking every day, about solutions for change, an evening to remember with our American heroes coming up on the 19th of September? Why do you think I talk about our Pay It Forward program? Where if you see a man or a woman in military uniform, if you can identify them as being military first responders, pay, if you see them at Starbucks, you see them at a coffee shop, pick up the tab for them. Say thank you. And then send me a copy of the receipt, and I'll put you in a drawing to give you a meal from one of the gift cards that we accumulate, or I just go out and buy it. I don't care. 
we are blessed to live in this country no matter what you think about it. And we have to say thank you to the people that allow us. I mean, I, I just uh, two nights ago, three nights ago, I got a call. There's a bunch of sirens down the block from our house. Somebody in armed robbery at Rubio's of all things. No, I don't. I can I can think of a million places better if I was just stupid enough to rob somebody. But going to Rubio's for an armed robbery. But the first responders, the police, are going knowing that somebody with a gun is there. And who are we calling? So when you get these jerks in the media that are talking about all the bad police officers, well, you know something. There probably is one-tenth of one percent of the police force in America. Maybe there are some bad officers. And I guarantee you, because I talked to them, the other 99.99%, they want them off the force more than you or I do. Believe me, that's the way it is. And I know all these same police officers that I speak to, they have one overriding goal every single morning. And you don't have it, and I don't have it. Their one overriding goal every single morning is to come home to their family. Think about that. And the next time you hear one of these jerks in the media saying something different, ask those jerks in the media if they're willing to do the same thing, if they're willing to put their, their life on the line the same way. I'll get off my soapbox right now, but I hope you spend a little bit of time thinking about this today and, and every day. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, Patriots and Paws and Open House, Penny Lambright's work entirely sleep for our veterans as well. We're going to talk to Melissa Jones about real estate. You know, something after all the things that veterans do, we get to go buy a house. Think about that. We're going to talk about it. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or Radio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you a veteran, police officer? officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher. If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. 
You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. You know, sometimes it, you get to do some of the stories and things that we do on a regular basis on the program, and you just say, you know something, I don't feel like it. And being that it's my show, I can say that. I don't think anybody's going to care, so I don't feel like it. Let's talk about something that seems a little bit more apropos for the day. I don't know that it's the day of remembrance. Penny Lambright, let's talk about your program. And, and since uh, actually you and I met probably about, almost about a year, year, two years ago at this time, it was a July 4th part of an uh, event. Yeah. And got to learn a lot about Patriots and Paws and, and the mission. So why don't you share with everybody what the mission is of Patriots and Paws? At Patriots and Paws, we provide for free to any veteran, active duty, and reservist practical home furnishings for free. They don't have to be wounded, disabled, a certain rank, or a certain branch. We serve those from Fresno, California, south, to the Mexican border, to the Pacific Ocean, to the Arizona border. It's a big geography. It is. <laughs> the hardest thing is for them to come to us to give, so that we can give them free furnishings for their home. We have helped over 650 families this year already. Last year, we ended the year with 954 families. We're talking practical things that they need for their home. Our active duty members come home. They may, may have been living with their parents and they come home from deployment and feel like they can't live there anymore, so they need to move out and they don't have anything. Or those that have been, for whatever reason, homeless, they can get a voucher that'll get them a key to a place, but they don't have anything to put in it. And so what we do is we fill those places. We fill them with beds and couches and refrigerators and nightstands and dishes and blenders and mixers and all the things that the rest of us just take for granted that when we open a cabinet door, there's going to be something or we get into our linen closet and there's going to be something. And the pause part is, is we will unite those same demographics with a rescued companionship animal that is fixed current on their shots and microchipped. And we work with a local shelter who provides those animals for free so that they can be trained to become service animals. And we work with a couple of organizations that actually do the training for the service animals. One of them comes to the back of our warehouse on Saturday afternoons and offers the training there because their business is in Temecula. So rather than having everybody come from Temecula, they come down here so that those that are more local can get their animals trained to become service animals. Sounds like you got a, quite a mission there. A lot, lot to do, but there's a lot, a lot of people need help. There's a lot of people that need help, and that is just the tip of the iceberg of what our plans are for the future. Um, there's only 8% of those who have served our country, and currently there's only 0.04% that are currently serving our country. 8% of what? 8% of the population 8 serves? 8% of the population have served our country, and that number is actually going down because of those that we are losing from World War II and Korea. And so... A lot of grief. And then is, go back to the other thing. Oh, the other Four, is point zero four percent are zero. active duty. So less than a half a percent are those that are giving us the freedom that we have today. And when you see people out there bashing the military and saying they they can do what they want to do because they have a right, yeah, they have the right, and the right is given to them for those who have served our country. And just because they have the right to do something doesn't make it right. But those who serve our country give them that right. I like the way you put that, that they have the right, but it doesn't make it right. Exactly. You know, that's a, a major issue. And, and, and I certainly applaud your efforts. Uh, the, the work that you do is, is unbelievable. Um, you know, and, and I like the idea there's, there's a, you know, a few, a handful of people that we're, we're I feel honored that will come on a radio program and chat with us, chat with all of you. Obviously, we're on from 
You know, saps. The, the, so we basically cover the same area you do, Penny. Holy cow! From uh, from from the Mexican border up to Santa Barbara, and from the ocean, and and obviously with our friends on live stream, we get a little bit bigger uh, geography. But it's a, there's a lot of people to help, and a lot of the the men and women coming back. We don't understand what they. Those of us that have not been there can't understand what they've seen. No. You know, we just I chat with them and they they tell me, you know, to watch a friend vaporized or to watch a friend lose his arms or his face or or things like that. No matter how many times they they tell us these things, we just don't understand. We can't fathom it. We never will. Right. And you know, it's similar to our our police officers. We want the military, we want our police officers to go out and do a job. But most of us really don't want to know what they have to do. Right? I mean, they they we as our culture, we're not we're not bred to kill people. Right? There are some of the people in the Middle East that that is what they're bred to do, but we're really not bred to kill. And when our our military go over, that's you know, unfortunately that's their job is to take out the enemy. And the idea is they got to take them out before they get taken out. Exactly. And right? Exactly. And you, as much as you can sit and chat with somebody regarding what they have gone through, whether there are military or there are first responders, unless you were there at the moment that they are there, there's no way you're going to understand. Right. If you're, if you are a firefighter pulling up to a, a car that's engulfed in flames and you're trying to pull out the body and you can't, you can't live through what that person has experienced or you're a police officer walking into a domestic violence event and there are things happening and you don't know who's the bad guy. You don't know if it's a wife, it's the husband, if there's a kids, you don't know what's going on. You're always constantly looking over your back and your shoulders and everything. If you watch any of those that have served in the military, when they go into restaurants or are first responders, you look and see where they sit. They're usually sitting with their back to a wall, looking at the front door, looking out the windows. They're, they are never off duty. They are always on guard to protect us. That is their job. That is their training. And too many people are giving them grief for doing their job. I would love to see the media start going and capturing some of the awesome stuff that our first responders and our military are doing and start building them up and building them up in the eyes of the children because they're not being respected by their parents to be taught that. Somebody needs to start building them up and showing them all the good things that, you know, there's rogue ones out there. We all agree to that. But let's start lifting up those that are doing such a great, fabulous job every day and building them up and not just on 9-11 and not just on specific holidays, but every day. Absolutely. And, and couldn't say it better. I mean, that is really, really the key. And, you know, it's really nice when I, I, I get op an opportunity to go out and chat with a lot of people as we prepare for a radio broadcast every day. And I was chatting just recently with Robert Tranchina. I think that's how he says his last name. Robert owns a limousine company and very, very passionate about serving our, our military. And we've talked about the evening to remember. Um, Taya Kyle is going to be the keynote speaker this year. I was sitting with Robert the other day and told him about the event. And he said to me, he said, Ron, any military person that's going to the event, I want to give them a, a free ride in the uh, limousine to go to the event at the Carlsbad Airport. And I said, that's great. And we, we made this happen. So any one of the military men and women that are going, give me a call. I'll put you in touch with Robert. But the thing that really bothered me the most was the men and women in the military wanted to know if they could wear their dress. It's a, it's a black tie event. They wanted to know if they could wear their dress uniform. And we're having to go through special channels at Camp Pendleton to get a permission because there's targets on military. I mean, is that not the, I mean, how could you possibly think that in our country targets on military, but it's, it's the way of the world. Now, the other thing that Robert told me, and I want to talk to you more about this, Penny, as well, because I know that this is part of your mission at Patriots and Paws, is he's got a job for every veteran that wants one. Awesome. Any vet, and what they do over at the limousine company is planning on building and buying more cars 
that he's going to put them through training at the cost of the company so they can either be mechanics or some of the things they already know how to do. Be mechanics, get their appropriate driver's license, all of this information, and they've got a job. We've got a moving company. They, he wants to put military men and women on trucks. He'll go buy the truck, they get the, the, the position. Because that's what we really need is the, these men and women that are coming back, they've seen a lot, but a lot of them, they, they, they got stuck in time. They got a four or eight year time warp where they left to go to war and saw these horrible things, did the great duties that they do, but came back and they haven't matured at the same course or the same path as those of us that have been working. We wanna give them that hand up, not a hand out. And that's the basis of it. They have been trained to do work. They come back here and they don't have a purpose. And as civilians, which I am, it's so often that we don't understand all the training that they have and we don't appreciate the training that they have. And people are afraid, well, they're gonna go postal on us or they're gonna, their PTSD or whatever. If you hire a veteran, you are gonna have one of the best employees ever if you know how to work with them. You, it's hard in corporate America to bring somebody on and expect them to work under the, some of the ways that corporate America is. You've gotta be a little more out of the box thinking with them because they have so much to offer and nobody sees beyond that. I have volunteers that work with us that are unemployable and they have been told they are unemployable. And in a heartbeat, I would hire them. In a heartbeat, because I see their work, I see how they work. They have to have a, a, a little things differently with them, but you give them the freedom and you give them the task to get it done and you don't micromanage them. And they are friggin' awesome. I wish I could multiply them. And we get so much done with those volunteers. Like I said, one day, we are right now, we're an all volunteer organization and it's gonna be, we're an all organi volunteer organization except for when we can hire veterans because I would hire them in a heartbeat. Unbelievable, we're gonna continue our conversation with Penny Lambright and Melissa Jones when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events and the financial markets. Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a few. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 3.5, and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's one 800-306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. I love Solutions for Change. They're dedicated to solving family homelessness, one family, one community at a time. They do beautiful work, truly changing lives. 
For a big event of the year, it's the fifth annual gala, an evening to remember with our American heroes. Saturday, September 19th in the Jet Source Hangar at the Carlsbad Airport. It's going to be awesome. Taya Kyle, author and widow of Chris Kyle from American Sniper, is going to be the main speaker. Joining Taya will be Navy SEAL and former pro football player Clint Bruce, and I have the honor of attending the festivities as well. Jeffrey Strauss from Pamplemouse Grill will be catering the evening. There's going to be a hosted craft cocktail reception, live entertainment, silent and live auction, all to raise money for Solutions for Change. Tickets are available. Please grab them as soon as possible. I'd love to see you there. 760-941-6545. That's 760-941-6545 or solutionsforchange.org. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back. Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. For any time at 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990. We've got a great conversation going this morning. Uh, Penny, we didn't talk about the event that's coming up. So tell us a little bit about your event. Well, tomorrow we have a Patriot Day open house fundraiser at our warehouse at 1515 West Collins in the city of Orange. It's a breakfast and lunch fundraiser. It's $5 a ticket per person. and That's too cheap. <laughs> Give more money. <laughs> yes, please. Um, we are very transparent as a nonprofit. We open our doors four times a year for formal open houses to allow the public to come in and see who we are and what we do. Um, if you can't make that event, we encourage you to call us and schedule a tour so you can come in and see exactly what we do. The more you know about the charity that is in your backyard that is changing the lives of those who've given us our freedom, you can see firsthand exactly what we do. And it's very important because I can tell you, I can tell you all about what we do. And when you walk in and you see our 5,200 square foot warehouse with furniture and racking and all that kind of stuff in there, you really get it. You really get it and you get a chance to come through. And, and tomorrow's gonna be a great day. We've got uh, our step and repeat and we have Margaret who's uh, 98 and she's our World War II veteran and she's our mascot and our morale booster. If you think you're having a bad day, you need to just come and get a hug from Margaret. She's a big hugger and she is, uh, you know, a female World War II veteran, and uh, she just loves coming and watching everything happen out there. Interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna go by there. I'm gonna take my mom out for breakfast for her birthday, and then come over there and bring your mom for breakfast for her birthday. Maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, we can have some fun with it. Great information. We're gonna talk more with Penny, but I do need to get a little bit here. Real time real estate segment. Penny, you'll like this. It's by the VIP Hero Program is our Woo-hoo. sponsor for that one today. VIP Hero Program, that's a simple organization or a simple group of people that I've put together that basically real estate professionals, lenders, title companies, attorneys, credit repair, how about saving five to $10,000 rebates when you buy, sell, refinance a house? Five to $10,000 in rebates from, from the VIP Hero Program. All you have to do is go to VIP Hero Program. Dot com. See if you qualify. It's going to be our military, active, retired, reserve. It's going to be first responders, teachers, a whole bunch of folks. See if you see if you qualify. VIPHeroProgram.com. The economic impact of every home sold. You look at some of the numbers. And I just posted this on, on our Facebook page, Ron at Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook. Economic impact of every home sold. And I've talked about this many times before. How much goes into selling a home? Where, where's the economic impact? Why is there so much economic impact? Well, California, $111,000 per home sold. And I, I just listened the other day to somebody talking about, what was it, uh, 2010, I think it was, when we had the, the, the rebate, the $8,000 uh, credit, if you went for first-time home buyers, 
And I've said many times that that actually cost absolutely nothing to the federal government, an $8,000 credit. Well, now there's a, st a study that says $57,500 on average is the economic impact of one home sold. Now, let's do a little bit of math, and I'm a simple guy, so I'm going to, well, let's use the California number because we're in California. $111,000 is the economic impact of one home sold. What if, what if we just did 100000 Because, again, I can do the math here. Are you in the 30% tax bracket? Maybe you're in the 25% tax bracket, 20% tax bracket. Did I hit yours yet? Go with little number, 20%. That's $20,000 in taxes. How often, if I said to you that I will trade you $8,000 in a tax credit for $20,000 in a tax bill, do you think that's good business from the, from the government side? An $8,000, they're going to give away $8,000 and collect $20,000? Now, I know that in Washington, they don't like doing those things because it makes too much sense. But for the rest of us, doesn't that make a lot of sense? I suggest that the government ought to do this more often because maybe we get rid of that $19 trillion debt. But let's talk about this impact, and we're going to chat about that. The Real-Time Real Estate segment brought to you by the VIP Hero Program. So what do you think, Melissa? Is that... Uh, Think we should go back to that eight thousand dollar tax credit? I mean, sounds pretty good to me. I mean, right? Isn't just, that you're right? It just makes too much sense. <laughs> it really does. To me, I look at some of these things and say, a hundred and eleven. And some people, I think, out there are really wondering right now, and it's one of the big issues that we come across on a regular basis, is people think they still got that misconception that they can't do anything because they bought a house in two thousand five, right? And they've got no equity. But I think we've got some, uh, even some proof that's going to dispel that rumor as well, don't we? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. I mean, the, just like you said earlier, you got to educate yourself, no matter what it is. Right. It's eye opening. And I'm looking at some of these statistics that basically say that 23 percent of the people believe they're negative equity on their home. I totally believe that. Right. 23 yeah. percent. So one out of that's every crazy. four basically says, "I don't have any equity." Right. Because they just don't know. They don't know. Yeah. And the real number is it's less than one out of 10 has no equity. Yeah, I really believe, especially the way things have been going, you know, it's better to find that out because sometimes when you see it on paper, it then clicks and you're like, wow, I really do. You know, I have been making money off my home. Right. You know, until, but you don't know until you try to find out. So here's the, here's my challenge. And I, I, I you know, I didn't even get a chance to ask you this, Melissa. So I, and I generally don't throw questions at people that I don't know the answer to, but I have a guess if somebody wanted you to give them 15 minutes of your time, just 15 minutes of your time, and they're in your neighborhood, can you come in there and share with them what their house is really worth as opposed to what they really think it's worth? Oh, absolutely. Those 15 minutes can can really help change literally the trajectory of their life. You know, if they really want to know and are willing to kind of look at the numbers and think about what they can do with their home or with their equity, it 15 minutes is literally like all I need, you know, right? Because then I can find out more about that specific home, the area, the values, the inside of the home, what it looks like. It, it's very easy to figure that out. And I'm going to suggest if they send you a copy of their mortgage statement, you can probably give them an idea of how much equity they have, because I'm looking at a, a Fannie Mae study that says that 37% of the people believe they have less than 20% equity. When in reality, 69% have more than 20% equity. Yeah. So if they have more of the equity, and you obviously, the reason that's why I say they need the, you need the mortgage statement is you can look at what the value of the property yeah. is, but that doesn't tell you what their equity is. Right. And so it always makes a big difference. What do you owe on the home? You know, what are you paying out every month? If you break it all down, that's when you can really make some sense of all of it and figure out what kind of equity is really there. And they can take that equity, then they can make a decision okay, I've got enough equity to get the house with the bigger bedroom. Yeah, absolutely. Or the pool that I want for the kids. Yeah. I feel like people just don't, they don't allow themselves to go there, you know, because they, there's there's good and bad to the old school mentality and a new school mentality. Old school is, you know, pay everything off, have no debt, which is wonderful, and I completely agree with that. But rates are so low and things are going, you know, so well when it comes to real estate that, you really can kind of mix old school with new school and you can find your own solution, you know, and you have a lot more power than you think you do. Right. Yeah. But, but you know something, you know what one of the biggest requirements are for power? Knowledge. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Right? If you're if you're an idiot, you probably don't have a lot of power. Yeah. And you know it's crippling too when you don't when you don't want to learn anything. Right. You know, you just stay kind of paralyzed whereas you know, the more you learn about anything, houses, you know, our our servicemen and women, anything, you know, the more you actually dive into things, the the more you can have an opinion and the more you, power you have in in general. Absolutely. So what I'm going to what I'm going to suggest right here is two things anywhere in the sound of my voice. Now, obviously, Melissa's can't run all over California as much as this radio does or our friends there on, on broadcasting does. But here's what I'm going to suggest. We just we just published our new home seller's guide. So if you own a home, you can go right text. Don't do it if you're driving, but text HSG home seller's guide to 79564. Do that right now. HSG to 79564. I'll send you a copy of the free home seller's guide. It's something we just published, about a 25-page magazine that, that I'll give you for free. And if you put a note on there that you want an equity survey, I'll find a real estate agent in your area that'll spend that 15 minutes that Melissa's just offered here in, in North Orange County. Give me a call or... Again, text HSG to 79564. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, more with Penny Lambright, Patriots and Paws, Melissa Jones, Preferred Home Brokers. You can reach me anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation mortgage adoption plan. You be the judge if it's right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to map at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporation and MLS 217037 and decal BRE number 01869452. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia, presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on-air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package, including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest-only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's one 1-800- 800-306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. 
Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio anytime. 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990. I better wake up this morning. <laughs> I don't know why we do that. Every once in a while, we just throw that in there to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do because I forgot it already that I am supposed to be giving away a free date, and I haven't even found out where my notes are for the free date. Oh, there it is. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Have you been to Reunion Kitchen and Drink yet? I, I, I love the place. I'm, I'm there way too often. My wife put me on a diet because I'm there too much. So here is... The question, and if you've been listening to our broadcasts for the past six days, you would have heard this. What is the Bristol Farms maximum price for their Affordable Wine Act? Affordable Wine Act. I, I like the idea. Affordable Wine Act, 90 plus point wines. What is the Bristol Farms maximum price for their Affordable Wine Act, 90 plus point wines? Maximum price. I was shocked because it's Bristol Farms, and I know they're known for great food and drink. Hmm. If you got the right answer, be the third person to put that on Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. Again, third person put the correct answer, Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. Third person to put the correct answer right on there. That is the Ron Siegel Radio date night presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Continuing our conversation and throwing away our agenda for the day, because I don't even know what I've done with it now. We did take care of a little bit of business that we were supposed to. Let's continue our com. On a day like this, doesn't it make a little bit more sense that we just chat about remembering and our first responders and our veterans? And Melissa, I didn't remember. I forgot that you had shared with me that this uh, the first responders hits close to home. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So Yeah, my husband's a sheriff's deputy. And you know something, thank you, and because one of the things that, that gets forgotten a lot, not forgotten by those of us that have the opportunity of, of reminding, is, is the, the men, in your case, that go out to work, they're out there doing things for everybody else, but there's a family that's at home yeah. that has a, a lot of fear. They live with a lot of fear also. Yeah, definitely, especially more so lately. It's like harder and harder to do a job that was already really hard. Absolutely. So it's... Uh, Thank you and your family yeah. and your husband. Thank you. That's awesome. I mean, it's uh, we, we need to remember that because we don't think about the families. You know, so where the evening to remember coming up, um, Taya Kyle is going to be the speaker. And, you know, obviously having lost her husband, not in service, but trying to help. You know, apparently the, the the story is, is that he was trying to help another veteran. Right. I mean, that's the, the yeah. issue. Uh, Penny, you said that you do you have the the open houses there on a regular basis? We do it once a quarter. Um, the first and last quarter, we do an evening from three to seven on a Thursday night to get a different demographics. And then the second and third quarter, we do a breakfast and lunch like we're doing tomorrow to get the people to come in to see exactly what we do so that they can walk through our, our building and, and see what we do and talk to some of those that we have served and it's growing and growing, and we never know how many to be prepared for. I've never run out of food yet, so that's a good thing. Um, I always, Boy Scout motto is be prepared. So um, it's really, really important to us that we're very transparent in this time of when you're not sure where your money is going to for different nonprofits and the stories in the news. It's really, really important to us that you come and see us firsthand, especially for those that are in Southern California. Our warehouse is currently across the free freeway from Anaheim Stadium. We're really convenient. And one day I hope to say we're in a much bigger place because we totally need that. So any of you commercial people out there that have got a building empty and you need some tax reasons to uh, let a nonprofit have a building, we sure could use it because that means the more we can do for our veterans with the more space that we have. But it's really, really important. Our taxes, um, our 990 forms are audited and we are current with the IRS. And we are current everywhere else as we should be. And we it's really important that people know that about us. 
I know that I, mean, I, I so all the times that we've talked on on air and a lot of the different groups that you know some of the groups that I'm involved with, um, you know we love the idea because I, I know even the real estate professionals here in, in Anaheim Hills have kind of adopted so to speak to, to to give some donations every week, so it's nice to see that there there are other groups. I'm going to throw something out at you again. I don't like to ask questions. I don't know the answer to, but every once in a while I do. I think I could probably swing another gift card from Reunion. It could, if somebody comes over there, if you, can you? Could, is there a way of doing a raffle there tomorrow? Um, we actually do opportunity drawings. Okay. And yes, we will be having opportunity drawings at our um, open house tomorrow. We've got all kinds of things. We would love to have Reunion and anybody else um, come out and bring stuff and uh, raffle it off. But come out and see who we are. Uh, we do have two $50 gift certificates to the brand new Rock and Brew in uh, Buena Park. Okay. Uh, we got Dodger uh, Laker tickets. Uh, we've got some other great things that people are bringing in. We got some wine. We've got, you know, it's, if somebody wants it, they bring it to us, we'll raffle it off. Good. So we're going to add a $100 gift card to Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Awesome. We're just going to throw awesome. that in there. If you haven't been there, I'll make sure we get that uh, to you before you leave the, the studio today because I know my friends over at Reunion Kitchen and Drink want to participate. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we love when we get to help people Very make cool. that decision, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. So we're going we're gonna to make sure that happens. And, and uh, Reunion Kitchen and Drink, they've been a, a great friend of ours. So we're going we're gonna to make sure that that happens. Um, and maybe hopefully uh, one, of the, one of the veterans there will win. Yeah, wouldn't that, that would, be even better? That would be that would be awesome. We always, it, what's interesting is sometimes somebody will win and they will turn around and ask if there's a veteran in the crowd and they will hand it to them. It's not a matter of them wanting what they're winning. It's a matter of them wanting to support, and then they turn around and they give it back away, which is really cool to watch. That's you know something that's beautiful, and and I'm sure it's going to make uh, a couple of people happy. Yeah, right. It's going to make that veteran happy, and it's going to make that person that did it. They should feel good. Yeah. Right, so that's uh, just get, keep giving back. You know, yeah. it's just a way of saying thank you, and and we can't say thank you enough to our first responders and our military. We can't. If if, if everybody had that same mindset, you know, maybe we could uh, put some of them out of business. Right, I mean, it'd be nice. I'd love, say I'd this, love Lisa, to be, but wouldn't yeah. it be nice if we didn't need police officers yeah. and sheriffs? That'd be great. That'd be, that'd be, I, I'll, I'll live in that world. That'd yeah. be awesome. Exactly, but until then, we just say thank you to them and the and the families that. Uh, that, that are supporting the first responders. Talk a little bit of real estate, though. Melissa, you and I have chatted about the the young people being able to buy houses, get some some equity. Are you seeing a lot of veterans being able to get there and, and help out and get, get their properties also? I'm definitely more lately. I feel like lots of people are forming programs and doing things that should have been being done for a really long time. You especially, you know, it... It, it's not impossible, and like you said, knowledge is power. And while that sounds kind of cheesy, it's so true. And so, even for veterans, you know, they like we've talked about already, they come back, you know, without a lot of their footing of this normal civilian life. And so, there's so many options. There's so many people out there that want to help get them into a home. Like, you know, I don't know who's more deserving of being Absolutely. in their own home, you know, than somebody who sacrificed so much for all of us. So, yes, I think you know, first time buyers veteran buyers, anything like that, you know, you really, there's lots of really wonderful programs out there to get involved in. Now, here's the game plan. And Penny, I think you mentioned this earlier. I know that uh, Ryan Audison has been in here with us, um, that there's vouchers for veterans to get a house or to get a roof over their head. It doesn't furnish them. You go to talk to Penny about that. But here's the game plan. And, 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 and Melissa, I know that you, you'll support this one as well. Again, I'm just throwing it out mm -hmm. there for you. You get the voucher to get the house. You get the furniture from Penny. You've got the jobs available from people like Robert and some of the others that I've, I've chatted with. Like Penny, I think you had a, uh, a bulletin board that you used to have where people, people could post jobs for veterans. We post it on our Facebook page. Okay, so you've got that available. Talk to Melissa about getting a house on the VA loan. In Southern California, you can get a VA loan. Well, actually, the VA loan goes up to any, any amount, but no down payment. Five six hundred thousand dollars, depending upon where you are. Four hundred thousand in the Inland Empire. Think about some of these numbers, and get a house. If you need to help with getting your credit taken care of, take we can help you with that too. 
it's all about a game plan and putting down. I mean, and I know that the military, I've talked to enough military people that they're used to that. They're used to going with a plan. Right. And right, the plan right, is, yeah. is A, B, C, D. Yeah. And a lot of times, it's interesting you mentioned credit because a lot of people get hung up on their credit. Well, I have bad credit. Okay. That's fine, but it can get better. You right. know, if you if you look into it, you have someone that actually is a credit specialist that can help you. That just fixing your credit alone is so so valuable when it comes to buying a home. So it's not it's not a dead end. Absolutely, and we're going to make sure that we help every single person we can. That's our mission here at Ron Siegel Radio. Thanks to our guests. Be sure to set your first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thank you to all of our sponsors. A very big thanks to Steve, who's engineering us today. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Make a lot of money. Help a lot of people. Have a lot of fun. Have a great day. Talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. But I don't care. It's 5 o'clock somewhere.